We are well into the new year, and it also means we're in flu season. But this year's dominant strain is bringing back memories for one Edmonton woman, H1N1, or you might remember it, a swine flu. I could hardly breathe. This flower shop owner will never forget what H1N1 feels like. Into the hospital to register, when they saw me and heard me breathing, they told me to put a mask on. I thought, I thought I was going to die with that mask on. She says she felt like she couldn't breathe. After over a week of what felt like a nasty cold, she was sent to the emergency room in October of 2009, where she was put in a medically induced coma for a month. She still has the scars. You no, know, you don't think it happens to you. She's sharing her story today after hearing about a Calgary mother going through a similar battle this week. On a fundraising site, the family saying Nevada Cunnington is fighting so hard. The thing that got me through was my faith and um, the prayers of family and friends. So immediately I, I prayed for them because I... It is close to my heart. So far this flu season, Public Health Canada reports over 14,000 confirmed influenza cases, nearly 200 people sent to ICU, and 37 deaths. Saskatchewan reporting three preschool age deaths, none of them vaccinated. We haven't actually seen the top of this um, peak yet. It's continuing to increase. Experts say it's not too late to get a flu shot, stressing the importance for young kids who wouldn't have built up an immunity in past epidemics. This season, Western provinces like Alberta were hit with the flu season sooner, whereas in Ontario, it's only just beginning. Back at Karen Hickey's flower shop, often this time of year, she prepares flowers to be sent to patients at the same hospital that cared for her, bringing back memories. How fragile life can be and, and we don't know, so there's often reminders of keeping friends and family close and, you know, enjoying the things in life. And in Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.